everyone, today we're going to show you how to make a Green Goblin mask from this to this. Alright, so uh, before starting the mask, I wanted to have, I wanted to try a few ideas that I had on making a face mask, like the full, all sides of your head covered. So first of all, what I did, I knew I needed a flat face, uh, just foam piece that covered your face. Um, nothing else, just your face. I just snipped a quick nose in my hole so I could see it, and did a little mouth to see if it would uh, work. And then you see the nose are just pushed in a little other piece of foam. I just wanted to see how it would look. And then, uh, my original idea from the start was I was going to use other pieces of foam that went from your jaw, that went from your jaw to your chin, sorry, your, ch your chin to your jaw to your um, ears and like the rest of your side of your face. So that was the idea I wanted to try. That's why I used it with a prototype of pink foam because I'm not going to use pink foam, let's face it. <laughs> um, yeah, so that turned out okay. I was kind of pleased that my idea kind of worked. But I noticed I had to tweak some things for the final product because this doesn't look good. Um, it was, I just I needed to detail the face more before um, I put the chin and uh, the jaw part and the ear part on. So this is how I came up with this. All right. So first, what you're gonna do? Material starts now. First. So see this big flat part here, that is the face part, um, just to go over your face. All I did, I just put a piece of foam on my face, I kind of just traced it across my face, and then once I had that I cut it out, and then I decided, and I just put two little dots where my eyes were, and then I cut out big green goblin eyes, and as you can see, I used um, mesh, I don't know what it's called, it's, uh, I don't know, I'll leave a you'll see words that say what type of mesh it is. Uh, so yeah, um, I forgot, but then I just painted that yellow. Um, I just got it from a dollar store, it's really cheap, it was like a dollar. Um, and yeah, I put that on. Um, and then next, what I did next was I cut out a huge, massive mouth because I knew that I wanted the mouth to be way bigger um, and I wanted it to look more menacing than the other one, which kind of looks a little happy, so um, more menacing. And then I cut a big mouth, and I had some spare scrap pieces of fabric of just black cotton from another costume I made a while ago. So I just cut that um, into the thing. You can see on the inside, it's just black fabric glued onto the back of the foam. So that worked, and you can see the black, you can't see your mouth. Uh, you can just see the blackness of his mouth. And then, once I was done with that, I took I just got white foam, uh, cut out teeth shapes, and glued that to the t to the rim of this foam. And for the nose, I took one piece of foam, cut like a triangle, a long triangle, and then bent it. And then I cut another triangle the same size, and then just glued that glued the bent triangle. You see that one's bent, and then that's the bottom one. I glued the top, I bent it to the bottom, and then it just, it points, and you can droop it a little too. Um, yeah, I really like how that looks. And that is about it for the face mask so far. I'll get to the other points in a little bit. So now, the next thing I did, I have I still have the ears and the thing that goes to your jaw and your chin, uh, and your face. Um, oh wait, I've been saying chin. I mean cheek. That's what I've been meaning to say. But yeah, so this part I made, and it I just drew the ear piece on one thumb on one piece of foam, and then I kind of one. I uh, kept it down, kind of every once in a while you put it on your face to see if it's matching up. And then after that, I just kind of just made it go all the way here. And then when I got here, I wanted it to look um, like it was really part of one big face. So what I did was once it got to here, I cut out, like I cut exactly where the mouth ended. So it would just kind of be overlapping the other mouth part. Um, and it would, uh, look kind of like the same face, wow, okay, right. um, it would look like the same piece. And then back here, you can see, I'll pull this up, maybe on this side's better, yeah, back here, 
um, there's space here, up here, that isn't covered. Um, and then, so I just took another piece of foam, made like a diamondish shape that's round on the top, and glued that under it so it would look still like there's skin there. And it looks good because it gives it also some layers, so it's not all just one big thing that doesn't look very nice. Um, and then, but at that point, I'm thinking, okay, it's good. It goes around your face, it's good, but there's no purple um, fabric that goes back, and it doesn't stick to your face. So I was thinking, and then after a while of thinking, I went to the dollar store to pick up some supplies, and I found some felt. And I was like, that's a great idea. Um, I'm going to use that. It's cheap, it's easy to cut, um, no sewing involved. Um, yeah, and you just glue it on. So I cut, I used, let me see, I think I used five or six pieces of purple felt. Um, and the first one, I just glued this part into, sorry, I cut this part into this triangle that he has, and then the rest is like the square, I see. And then the one on the side, I had another square, so it goes back if you pull it. I had another square here, goes from the front, and I glued that on top, and then it came under this, came under the ear, and then I glued the ear to this. I glued the ear to the back, so it would stay and kind of make that shape, and then I did the same on the other side. And then for the back, to make it all pointy at the back, I took two pieces of foam, and just kind of, sorry, do I keep saying foam? I mean felt. Uh, I took pieces, two pieces of felt, and cut them into sort of half, like, rounded rectangles, so like, the, it ends there, cut them both into these pieces, and then glued them together, and glued them on top of this, and this, and this. And then, just to finish it off, I used some black puff paint, and kinda, I just put very thin lines across all of the uh, seam points, like the edges, and I uh, just sealed it off to make it look more like it was sewed and make it kind of acknowledge that there are seams, but it looks like it was actually made. And then part of part of these this square, this rectangle, I just flap, cut on flap off, put it here, and then it's good. It flaps and it's connected. So that is good. Now, now that it was perfectly um, done and it fits on your head. Have the one thing, it kind of looked a little bit um, plain. So, because it looks plain and I wanted to look a little more uh, monsterish, like a little more used and uh, ferocious, I added, like, I glued this down so you can't pull it up now, but with a green permanent marker, um, I used, I just put lines all over his thing to give it, like, um, depth, and then I also, once I did that everywhere, uh, and then I did black sharpie around his eyes to give him, like, intense, an intense look, and then after that, uh, it was still not scary enough for me, so I wanted to, I added some cardboard and painted it green, uh, just regular acrylic paint, and kind of put that, and glued that on some various parts of the mask, to kind of make it look like the skin is, like, peeling off, and, like, he's old and used it a lot. So, and then I just went over some acrylic paint over here to make it look again a little more, give it a little more depth. Um, yeah, I really like how it turned out. Looks really good if you ask me. Uh, I did make it, but yeah. And then, oh yeah, sorry, at the back it just goes down. I'll show you that. So, that is about it for my Green Goblin mask. This is going to be used in my fan film. Um, I really like the way it turned out. It, this cost me about $12 to make, guys. I've seen other Green Goblin masks, and they're just way too expensive for me, so I just decided to make a $12 good-looking Green Goblin mask that kind of takes elements of all the Green Goblin masks from the movies, from the comics, from the video games. And I really like it. So, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial so that is about it for today guys I want I hope to see you guys next time please comment rate subscribe um, see you guys later bye